Hi, my future directors. So this week we are talking about chapters 9, 10, and 11. They're short chapters, so you can handle three. So you're going to read all three of those chapters. You're going to memorize them. That's one of my, like, my um, secrets is that I have memorized almost everything that my favorite author, Mary Christensen, bleh, can I even say it, has said. So super important that you get it, you read it, you absorb it, absorb it again, highlight it, use your little markers. I've got like point, clearly I love it. So let's dive right in. Um, chapter nine is about creating a wrist, realistic roadmap. Can't talk today. Chapter 10 is about building belief. Super important. Not only belief in our products, but belief in our company. You want to create unshakable belief in our company and in our products. People are never going to be tempted by the shiny object that hangs and sparkles another company to go join that company if you create unshakable belief. No matter what happens, they're not going to leave Sensi. They're not going to try selling other things because we all know that being all in in one company is the key to success. You cannot run two businesses and be successful at one. You won't be successful at one. You will never be successful at both, but you're not going to be even successful. Make it to the top of the company, make it to director, etc. Maybe to director, but you're not going to make it to superstar director. You're not going to have a successful, healthy business by running two companies. Did I say that? Okay. <laughs> what do they call that? I spilled the tea. <laughs> so chapter 11 is be, um, be a strategic mentor. Super, super important. And we'll get into that a little bit also. One of the key things that Mary said in one of those chapters was the fact that, did you know 50% of people quit after three months? Six months, I think it was. No, it was three months. After three months. Isn't that insane? We don't want to be part of that statistic. We don't want our people quitting after three months. Super, super important. So another thing that I have learned over the years is usually about 10 to 20% of people stay. That's a scary figure. So of every 10 people you sponsor, one or two are going to stay long term most likely. That's a little bit scary. So that means what guys? That means you have to continue to sponsor. You can never stop. I started in 2008. I say that all the time. I still have the goal every single month of sponsoring two people. One of the biggest keys is if you ever do a one-on-one -on -one with me, one of the first things I'm going to say to you is where are you meeting new people? How are you meeting new people? Because Typically, if people are stuck, it's because they're not meeting new people. You have got to continuously meet new people. You have got to get creative and you've got to get strategic. And you need to pass those traits on to your team members. Okay, so creating a realistic gold map. Go, oh my gosh, roadmap. So one of the th the six things, I should say, I have six things that are I think are key, important when you start your Sensi business. The six things that have to happen to become successful. And again, let's just remember that not everybody has the goals that we have. So we can't force anything on anyone. We can lead the horse to the water, but we cannot make them drink. But it is our job, it is our duty to share, to inspire them, to fill them with inspiration, not information. But this is a little bit of an information piece. So letting them see that, or helping them, creating a realistic goal map. Go. <laughs> Roadmap. Why do I keep saying gold map? Goal map. Create. It is a goal map, but creating a realistic goal map for them. So the number one, first, most important thing I talk to them about is um, hosting their launch party. Number one, they have to do it. They have to do a launch party of some type. It is so important. Number two is earning the shooting star award, the fast start awards, I call them. So earning that shooting star award. Number three is booking parties. They have got to book their parties. They have to fill their calendar in order to keep going, right? Number four is becoming certified in 60 days. I always say most of my team members become certified in 60 days. Really, you want to do it in 30 days, but at a minimum in 60 days. That way you get that 5% bonus. Number five is earning the shooting, I mean the sensational start award, which you guys all know what that is. And number six is finding their first team member. That's one of the places that we kind of fall short because if you just explain, honestly guys, if you just say, you know what, this is so much more fun with a friend. For me personally, honestly, the truth is, I wish some of my great friends had joined Sensi when I joined because 
I get to go on all these trips all the time. And you know, one of the benefits of you guys making director is every year we have a trip that we are allowed to go on somewhere warm, somewhere fun. This is where one of the trips was. So we went to Cancun. We've gone to Cancun lots and lots of times, but Mexico. We did New York City one year. Hawaii. I went to Hawaii in 2020 before the pandemic. Thank God I got to go on an airplane because obviously um, after the pandemic, things changed quite a bit for the entire year. So, okay. So those are your six things. <clears throat> when you're creating a realistic goal, <laughs> there I go again, roadmap for your team members, for your new people, it's those six things. They are very, very important. Create a, um, doing their launch party, earning the Shooting Star Award, booking parties, becoming certified in 30 to 60 days, um, the Sensational Star Award, and helping them find their first team member, okay? So the, probably the biggest help you can be is helping them book parties, helping them to fill their calendar. That is the pro biggest thing you can do for them because if you help them with that, then the rest of those awards will all come easily, okay? So not, chapter 10 was about building belief. I kind of went off on a little tangent in the beginning. Um, building belief in our company, unshakable belief so that when a buddy sells out in 8.7 seconds, people aren't mad and screaming and ranting and raving on your team page. Or when, you know, shipping is taking forever. Again, it's not Sensi's fault. Sensi always does everything right. Like they do the best they can. Typically when something goes wrong, it's not necessarily their fault. So shipping problems are typically UPS, FedEx, etc. It's not our fault. We do the best we can build unshakable belief in our company, and build unshakable belief in our product. My customers don't buy wax at Walmart, guys. I've never bashed Walmart to them, but they would never buy <clears throat> wax at Walmart because they have unshakable belief. I have so many customers that are using our cleaning products. I hear so many consultants say, nobody buys it for me. Nobody buys our dish soap. It's too expensive. Nobody buys our laundry. It's too expensive. Nobody buys our counter clean. It's too expensive. No, it's not. It's because you're not doing a good job of sharing the features and the benefits of the product, of why it's better, why it's not more expensive. It's your fault, okay? So you have got to, sh to establish belief in our products. That wasn't what it was called. Build belief, not establish. Build belief in our products and in our company. And then chapter 11 <clears throat> is about being a strategic mentor. Stop all the training. Okay, number one, I, I, I have to repeat this all the time. You are nobody's boss. When you have a team, you are not their boss. It is not your job to say, okay, what's your PRV? Okay, why are you at zero? It's the 18th of the month. Why are you at zero? It's your job to say, hey, I'm here for you. I just want you to know, how can I better serve you? Um, I, I wanna help you grow your business. Not giving them a hard time because it's their business, not yours. And that's where sometimes people go wrong. Well, typically when there are, um, there are your people who just often have clashing personalities. They have a hard time getting along with others. And a lot of the times I find when there is a, a team member that doesn't like their sponsor, it's often because the sponsor is acting like they're their boss. Don't micromanage, inspire, okay? Give a lot of inspiration, give less information. That's the best thing you can do. Again, I honestly think the best thing you can do for a team member is help them book parties, fill their calendar, show them how it's done. Um, let's see what else did I, I made a couple of notes here, of course. Um, <clears throat> learn how to work with your top performers. Those people who are constantly, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Well, first of all, I have a 24 hour rule for a lot, for most consultants, because I have so many people that message me and you guys, as your teams grow, this is going to happen to you too. I'm not telling you don't answer people for 24 hours, but when I get a question of how much is tax or is the, um, whatever warmer available or is black raspberry vanilla sold out? I can't answer that right away. I will wait about 24 hours. Sometimes I can't wait that long because I, I'm afraid I'll forget. And then I'll respond with, I'm sure you found your answer by now. Here's how you find it so that it's easier for you next time so you don't have to wait for me. So instead of being mean and saying, go look it up yourself, I try to word it in a way that, you know, I don't want them to have to sit around and wait for me. Okay. So um, again, I want you to know all three of these chapters. I want you to understand them, read them through and through and through. Part of being a great leader is developing yourself, becoming a better person. 
doing the things that make you more inspirational, make you showing people what's possible. Okay, so let's get right into your assignments. So your first assignment is going to be to go out of your way for a team member. You're gonna go out of your way to help one of your heavy hitters, one of your people that it's really on fire. Maybe it's a brand new person, whatever it is. You're gonna say, hey, I'm here for you. Are you doing a home party anytime soon? If you live close enough and if they're doing home parties, I would love to go with you. Or, hey, um, any online parties coming up? Yes, okay, can I hop in and, and, um, and, and maybe do a video or two for you and talk about how great you are and try to book some parties for you? Or, oh, you've never done one? Why don't I be your host? I'm happy to do that for you for one party. So something like that, you are going to jump in and somehow help them with a party. You're gonna make it great. You are not gonna let it go below 500 PRV. You're gonna pretend like it's whether you make director or not if they have a $500, a 500 PRV party. So. There you go, that's assignment number one. Picking somebody, really, really helping them and showing yourself that you do make a difference. You can really help these people. Okay, um, assignment number two is going, to do, is going to be doing a booking blitz. And I think I have a little fun game that I can post and I'll post it if I have it. And it's just points. So go, okay, what you're gonna do first is you're gonna go live on your team page and you're gonna say, Everybody needs to make a list of 100 of 100 because we're going to do something fun with it and there are going to be prizes. So, give them the, some ideas, you know, here's Frank. Frank is a great way to come up with a list of five of of 100. Friends, relatives, A is for acquaintances, N is for neighbors, K is for kids. So, anything to do with your kids. Teachers, coaches, blah blah blah. Um friends, parents, and so kids kind of covers the whole world. Your kids dentist, your kids doctor, your kids banker. Okay, that was weird. Uh, but you guys know what I mean. So make their list of 100 and say, and I have a surprise game that we're gonna play with it. So make sure you make your list of 100 and then come back, back on maybe in a day and say, okay, we're doing a booking blitz. So you have to show up with your list of 500, your list of 100, and we're gonna do a booking blitz. So that's how you're, that's how you're going to um, start it. Then say, okay, for 45 minutes, we're all gonna meet on um, Zoom. You could be on Zoom start a Zoom or you could do Facebook Live or you could do Honor System and just do a post and say, okay, every time you get a booking, ding, every time you, whatever. And I'll, so you, you want them to make phone calls, text, private messages, however they wanna do it, not spammy, make them short. Sometimes making a little video is the best. Hey, I'm, I'm having a fun little um, incentive with my director or what, I don't know. I, sometimes I don't like the way people say that, but if you made a video and you said, I'm in a, comp, a competition right now and I'm seeing if I can be the person that books the most um, parties, I'm doing these online parties, they're super easy, you do no work, I do everything, and my parties are really successful. Would you be interested in doing one for me? Boom, easy, send that video. However you wanna do it, but you're going to do a booking blitz with your entire team. You can invite anybody else to do it with you want if you want to. Also, if you want to get together with people um, in this group, go for it. Go for it. Okay, that's assignment number two. Assignment number three is you are going to send a positive affirmation to every single person under you, every single person on your team, on your team. Okay, so that might say, hey, I just wanted to say that I noticed that the last three months in a row, you've been at, you've been active. And I am just, I just think the world of you, I think you're fantastic. I really see you going places with this business. I'm proud of you. You're amazing. Stuff like that. Or if they haven't really done anything, say, hey, I just saw on your Facebook page, you just look really great and happy. And I just wanted to say, I'm really inspired by you. Something like that. So you can easily find one great thing about everybody. That's one thing when I do shows, the first thing I do is I try to compliment everybody who walks by my table because I can find something I love about every single person I come in contact with. Whether it's their eye color, it's their earrings, it's their sweater, it's their haircut, it's their lipstick color, their teeth are gorgeous. Like there is something I can find about every single person that I meet. So that was um, assignment number three. Number four is you're gonna make a welcome to our team video. And in this video, you might want to have those six things that we just talked about. So you have already sent them your um, your text because we did last week, we did the text on the phone where you send the picture and then you send that welcome text. Well, once they are on the team page and everything is going, then you're gonna send them this video. And in your video, you're gonna say, hey, my name's Jen Audette. I am your director. I live in Maine. It's um, If you don't know where that is, we're, I'm about two hours from Boston. And I just wanted to check in with you again and say welcome once again. I also wanted to share with you six tips 
to getting your business off to the greatest start because I know you can be super successful with this business. So the first thing that I'm going to recommend is that you have a launch party ASAP and you need to have it within 15 days. So you need 500 PRV within 15 days to earn tip number two, which is the shooting star award. So you have your launch party. We get it all entered by your 15th day and you will earn the, a very prestigious award called the shooting star award. From there, let's keep going. So I would love love to see you. Um, I'm sorry to overwhelm you. I hope that I'm not overwhelming you, but I just kind of want to have this video so that you can go back and replay it as many times as you want. So the next thing is I want to see you become certified within 30 to 60 days. The reason you want to become certified is because you get a bonus for life. You will start making 25% commission on everything you sell after you have sold a thousand dollars total from the day you started with Sensi. So you will get that bonus. You will never go back to the 20%. So the quicker you do it, the more money you're going to make. The fourth thing I'm going to say is, what was my fourth thing? I can't even remember right the second. Um, you're going to, oh, that was the fourth thing. Never stop. Oh boy. Um, booking parties. Okay. So, so I totally just screwed up the video, but you'll have your notes in front of you and you'll do a better job. The, so the third thing was booking parties. It's really important that you fill your schedule. It's probably the most important thing you can do. The fourth thing is um, becoming the cert becoming certified in your 30 to 60 days. Fifth thing is that sensational start. There are, that's the second fast start award. The shooting star is in your first 15 days. The sensational start is in your first 70 days. And then the last tip I'm going to give you is find a team member right now because this is so much more fun to learn with someone else because you can hop on the phone, you can hop on FaceTime and make samples together. Find a friend to do this with you. So thank you so much for listening to me ramble and blah, 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 blah. So something like that. Um, if you're finding that it's too overwhelming because as I just went through that video, it does seem a little overwhelming. So you could even break it into video part one and video part two. So part one could be, you know what, that's probably a better idea now that I just did that because if a new consultant got that, they might be think you're all over the place. So let's do two videos. Part one is the first three things, launch party, earn shooting star, and book parties. Part two video is become certified in six, 30 to 60 days, um, the sensational star award, and find your first team member. Okay, so you're gonna make two videos. Sorry, <laughs> I change my mind all the time. Okay, and your last assignment is, I'm sorry, I'm really loading them up this week. So your last assignment is you're going to start stories on Instagram. And if you connect it to Facebook, because you know that they are like the same company now, you're going to start your stories on Facebook, on Instagram. If this is overwhelming for you right now, don't worry. Let's call this a bonus assignment. But guys, it's helping me a lot. Go live every day on your stories. Be consistent. I want you to share one Scentsy product and something non-Scentsy. So maybe what you're eating or maybe your new rug or maybe your, your fall decor or maybe your pumpkin that you just carved, whatever it is. Share one Scentsy thing and one non-Scentsy thing every day. And I want you to make sure you talk about the join opportunity. I want you to talk about hosting a party and the rest of them can be about products. Okay. So that is a bonus because I feel kind of guilty right now that I've given you all these things. Okay. So assignment number one was go out of your way for a top performer and help them do a party of some type. Assignment number two is, um, first there's two parts to assignment number two. The first one is go live, have them create their list. Your team create their list of a hundred. Part two is to do a booking blitz one night together. Assignment number three is sending a positive affirmation to every single person on your team. Assignment number four is creating the part, the two part welcome video. Part one is the first three things, which are, um, do your launch party, earn shooting star, fill your calendar with parties. Part number two is become certified in 30 to 60 days, earn the Sensational Star Award, and find your first team member. Then you have your bonus, which is doing stories. If you want to do the stories and you have no clue, go on YouTube and search how to do an Instagram story. It's easy as that. Anytime you guys want to know how to do something, go to YouTube or go to Google. Google, how do I do an Instagram story? It'll come up a million different ways. I always try to choose the, the vid. This is how I choose. This is a little tip for those of you who ever start making YouTube videos. I try to choose the picture that I like with the shortest video. Okay. All right. Get busy. It's a busy week and it's an exciting week. See you guys next week. Bye-bye.